my mother's side of the family were all travellers and gypsies. She was brought up by her grandmother. Both of her parents died when she was very young. She had an uncle that played the trumpet. You know, her father played the banjo. He used to listen to American radio in, during the Second World War. And he used to learn the songs off the radio like that. Her grandmother was very into the sort of old romantic ballads like the, the, the spinning wheel and things like that and she used to she used to sing when they were little. My father is a guitarist who is known for playing for playing the guitar um, and inventing a particular style of English folk guitar. Um, he started playing when he was 17 back in the 50s and um, really was was quite instrumental in his youth in sort of building the, the 60s folk club scene in London. He was a friend of Bob Dylan and Paul Simon. And I was brought up in that kind of a family. My mother and her, her brother and her sister were in a singing group. My dad joined that singing group and then when I was old enough I joined the family as well. Because my parents were professional musicians and touring musicians we had a lot of touring musician friends who would come and stay at the farm and they would sing and play all the time. There was music all around when I was a child and that really that really formed the basis of of, of how I live now. I wanted to be I wanted to be a writer. My mum certainly didn't want me to go on the road. My mum retired in 1966, 65, 66 from professional touring to raise me. I mean, the road is a difficult place, whether you're traveling with your family or with a band or on your own. My dad also probably never thought that I would do it, but I ended up following, exactly following his footsteps and quitting school when I was 17 and going on the road. 